Hello, Keiko here, and welcome to the chaos. Let's go. Anyway, ooh, okay. What have we got? Um, what what is this? Okay. Okay. I think we're gonna do that, and it's gonna be fine. And then what's? Oh. Perfect. <laughs> we didn't even have to do anything. We got three character. Okay, that's exciting. That's exciting. Okay, this is useless for now. This. Oh, I should do this at some point. Maybe I can do that on stream. I mean, usually I don't, but this is this is all new. Okay, okay. Oh, what's this? <gasps> I saw these in a trailer, and I thought they looked really cool. But what is it? Wait, what? Uh, I'm confused. And then what's this? Ooh! A thing. It kind of reminds me of a fire crab. Fire crab, I think. <laughs> anyway, let me see. There's a lot of buttons that need clicking. Uh, oh, I forgot about this. You know, we can skip this. I've watched this many a time. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, one of these. That's a oh, I didn't do it. It's upset with me. Oh, that was quick. Okay, okay. What else? What else is new? Why are you telling me there are new things? Oh, because there are new things, presumably. Okay, okay. And why are you upset with me? Oh, actually, we could do some wishes. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see, let's see. This, I'm just gonna pick one so that it goes away. Um, and this, I have 20 of these, so we're gonna do a set. Guess what we get? Okay, a four star. What kind of four star? Oh, it's Layla. Okay, okay, we, we like Layla, this, this is good. <laughs> okay, anything else? Oh! That's new. Don't know if it's any good, but it's new. That's exciting. Okay, okay. Let's, let's close that. And, well, now we've got to level up Layla. Now we've got to check out Lynette. Okay, here you are, Layla. Take have another consolation. Okay, and then who else? Here we are, okay. Let's see. Hello, Lynette. Who who are you? What do you do? Um, let me give you just have something. Take I don't know, take this. Just have just have some things. Have this. Um have this and this. And have that as well. Great. <laughs> okay, let me see. What do you have? Um, that's just fighting. Oh, anything special? Nope. What about this? Okay. Okay. I think we just need to run around with her and see what happens. I'm not re. I'm, none of this is going into my head. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wind. Oh. Magic tricks. Okay. Okay, air of attack damage. Exciting, exciting. Oh, taunting. Oh, okay. Oh, elemental absorption stuff. Exciting times, exciting times. Uh, okay, and what's this? Ooh. Aquatic stamina. Oh, okay. I think that's to do with the. There's got to be some new stuff in Fontaine that we just don't know about. This is exciting. Okay, let me level her up to wherever we normally get her. I think I usually get everybody to level forty, give or take. But obviously, I don't think I'm gonna have her ascension materials. Well, I might have the first one. Yeah, we've got the first one. But I probably don't have the second set because 
Well, I highly doubt it's just going to be something I already own. <laughs> it's definitely going to be something that needs you to be in Fontaine, which we haven't gone to yet for obvious reasons. But um, yeah, exciting times. Okay, let me level up to here. And then grab a couple of these. Okay. Now, what do you need to ascend? Ooh. This is exciting. Ooh, Icewind Sweet. I wonder if that's that dancing duo that we just saw. Because if it is, I kind of want to fight them just for the sake of... Just for the sake of fighting them, because they look really cool. <laughs> oh, let's give you a better sword. Uh, let me, let me give you something. I guess you can have this. <laughs> okay, let me see. Uh, should we see? I'm just going down to our top. You're packing! Ooh, good idea. Get your mom to double check that you didn't leave any socks. <laughs> uh, what is you're gonna write? Uh, leave it in the background. Fair enough, fair enough. Good luck with your writing. Um, what are the subtle reasons? What subtle reason? Huh? I'm very confused. <laughs> to be fair, I'm always confused though. This is not, this is not new. Anyway. Let's actually no, let's grab I wanna see what she does. Where are you? Oh. Oh. This has changed. I don't know if I like this. I'm confused. Oh. That was fun. <laughs> okay. A little bit confused. A little bit confused. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let me go. Oh, what is happening? Okay, we're gonna go to here to fight the um, the little group of Hiller Charles that we always fight whenever I get a new character. Um, and then we're gonna go and see what's going on in all those other events. Because I haven't tried them. Oh, let's see, you said you weren't going to continue for obvious reasons. Oh, the subtle reasons. Um, the subtle reasons. Fontaine is the island of water. I have a bad habit of drowning. There we go. <laughs> that will do. <laughs> I have no idea how Fontaine works, but um, I think it's a valid point. Anyway, anyway. Let us oh, I didn't notice she had a ponytail because in all the art and stuff, she's just from the front. From the back. Because she has a ponytail. Okay. Uh, let me go... I forgot where the Hill of Charles are. This is, I'm off to a great start. I think they're over here, on the other side of this. There they are. Okay, let me go over there and see if we can fight any Hill of Charles. And we can see what she does, because I don't know. But her little icon looks a little bit scary. Okay. She's just kind of gotta stab them. <laughs> oh, why is it being glitchy? Oh, okay, okay. This is, this is fine. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to see if I can get her, like, burst ready, but that requires clicking buttons. Oh. No, do not get attacked by a boar. That's not the plan. Okay, it does look like she's almost there though. So hopefully... Oh, is the last guy the only guy... I don't know, there's someone... Is the only guy up there? Really? There's nobody else? <laughs> okay, fine. We're gonna have to go... We're gonna have to go and fight those slimes. Which is usually where we end up anyway. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we've gotta, we've gotta go check it out. Guess how many seeds you have? Is it like... 5,000 seeds? Is that how many seeds you need? Okay, let's see, let's see what Q does. Oh, there's a cat! It's a cat hat! <laughs> I love it. I think um, her brother has a similar kind of cat thing, so they kind of... They match. I like it, I like it. Okay, well, that was a fun interlude. Let me... What is this? Chapter 3? Why do you want me to go to... 
I'm not ready for Sumeru yet. <laughs> anyway, let me let me just leave. Um, let us go over here where it's safe. So we switch back to Ayaka, and then we can um we can go. Let me see. Uh, when do you have time to make all that slime? I don't know. <laughs> when does anyone have time to make all that slime? Um, but anyway, the cat in the hat knows a lot about that. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Anyway. Anyway, let us let us go and explore. Okay, so okay, not this. That's a boss. Not that. This is a boss. Okay, this is the one. Wait, you can get different colors. Ooh, I kind of want to fight this boss, but I don't think we can. Okay, we're gonna ignore that. Ignore that. Uh, you can ignore that one as well. Okay. I guess we want to go to. I don't know how to get to Fontaine, but <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do it. I'm pretty sure it said that you were supposed to be able to um get there from Sumeru, maybe. Well, I never unlocked this. Okay, no, is it this? Hopefully, I don't just trigger the Fontaine Archon quest, because that would be not ideal. But if we just get to run around and explore, I will take that. Did it load? Ooh! Okay. So I guess this... I think I read somewhere that you were going to get one teleport on the edge of Sumeru. And like, look at this. Look at this. Like also, just how stark of a contrast did they make this? Also, how? Yeah, so you know, like desert, water. <laughs> I love it too. I love it so much. Okay, how do we? Oh, well, that's one way to get down. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm guessing we're just gonna get onto the ground. I see what's in that little hut, because I see a little hut. And then we're gonna run over the boats. As in I'm going to climb aboard the boats to double check there's nothing to steal. And uh, yeah. And then we're gonna see if we can go up there, because it looks like it's a statue of seven. The seven, like right up there. Which is exciting. Okay, pick up some more, exciting. Okay, okay. Well, good thing we have Ayaka, because Ayaka is very good for crossing water. So, <laughs> so, oh, oh, there's a wave rider. Yeah, that makes sense. But who needs a wave rider when you can just... We probably should have got the wave rider. But it's too late now. I have committed. So, okay. Ooh, you can really tell the difference. This is like a steamboat. Like all the other boats we've seen have been more like sailboats. This one's fancy. Oh wait, no, I really should have got the wave rider. Because Ayaka can't... <laughs> she can swim, but she can't... She needs to like sprint, and you can't sprint off of a boat. So we're gonna go get the other boat. <laughs> and then we're gonna continue. my boat oh there it is okay let's get in the boat um so we went to that little one let let's check out the big ship there's probably nothing on it but still we gotta find out oh there's an oculus nearby Is that a floating thing? Is that... That's either... The, um... Liwa... Sky... Palacey thing, or... Uh, the Jade Palace, or that's just something else. Oh, there's people on here! I can talk to people! Okay, okay. Exciting. Okay, now I can't talk to them because they're... <laughs> 
non-talkative people. But, oh, I'm on the edge of the world. That's not good, but that, that's fine. Anything over here? Okay, doesn't look like it. After that little bit of money we got, but other than that, nothing here. We have to get back in this boat. And let's go this way. Very rude and to just blank you like that. Yes. Incredibly rude. Ooh. Hello, this boat looks like it's important. That looks like an Oculus to me. Okay. Well, let me just Oh, it's pretty. I like that. I like it. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, let me get back in my let me get back in my boat. Is that a cargo ship? I guess so, I guess so. Um, but I don't think we went over here to see these two boats. I don't know if they're in the world or not. <laughs> like you'd think they would be, but I'm getting really close to that barrier. Ooh. Nope, okay. You can't go there. Paimon won't let me. That's fine. How do I reverse? No, Paimon! <laughs> Paimon, I'm trying! Okay, okay. Okay. Let's go over here. There's a couple of little boats. And then... Okay. Do you have anything to say? No, he doesn't have a name. Okay. Okay! This is exciting! Anything on this boat? No. What is that thing? <laughs> we gotta say hello to whoever this is. Uh, huh, I sure hope she likes the present I picked out ever so carefully. A present? Uh, that's right, I've chosen something special for, from Fontaine to give to my lady love. Curious, I would hope all the other ladies hurried off to the court of Fontaine the moment we came ashore, only I came back here. Learning is hard work, yeah, but I truly look forward to setting sail once more to see my lady love in that love. When it comes to passions, I am nothing if not a serious man. If all goes well, I would even be willing to change lines of work and stay with her. But there are quite a few tribes where she lives, and a different tribe different tribes come with different rules. Will I be able to integrate smoothly? Ooh. I don't know if I like this. I'm a little bit scared, not gonna lie. That looks like a policeman. I don't want that to be a policeman. <laughs> I don't like the concept. Oh dear. It's gonna be fine. Just we gotta be careful not to um get in trouble. I don't fancy my chances. Like, I can outrun the middle leaf. Not sure I can outrun a robot. <laughs> um, you thought I said lecture. You was going to give us a le lesson about Fontaine. To be fair, I'd welcome a lesson about Fontaine because I don't know what's going on. Ooh, everything's still a bit glitchy. That's fine. What I do want to do is grab this, because this looks like a new plant. I grabbed it. Okay. Exciting times. Oh, there's another one. I got distracted. I... It's been... <laughs> I haven't even done anything yet, and I've already become distracted and picking up all the flowers. But that's okay. We're going to go and check if there's anything on this side of the, the little harbour, and then we're going to go up this thing. I'm assuming there's a lift, but I will scale the walls if necessary. I'm hoping it's not necessary, but I will do it. Oh, hello. Hello, do you need any help? Tell me a bit about yourself. I'm member of the guards in charge of keeping the maritime harbour safe. Feel free to call for me if you encounter any trouble. I've got a good pair of eyes and a quick pair of legs, so any suspect who wishes to escape outside our borders will have to pass me first. I'm just kidding, I exaggerate somewhat. People come and go all around this place, but most of the work is done by machines. Everything's pretty well organised. Okay. Okay. You know what I could see happening here? 
I will be quite impressed if I was right, because I literally know nothing about Fontaine. Um, I think it'd be quite interesting if they had a classic... You know all those movies where there's like a, a computer uprising? I, I could see it happening. They have a lot of machines here. What if the machines went to war? I mean, one of the bosses is already like a pair of robots. So, you know, it could happen. Anyway, hello. Hello there, the wind and the waves are both placid today. That makes for less stories, but at least people will sail in safety. Uh, stories. The harbour is not a place where waters and ships cross paths, but also one where stories gather. Many tourists, merchants, and even lovers of books from the land of deserts and rainforests come here. Many people love chatting with me because that would be the first time they've met, uh, Melusine. Thanks to everyone, I've also heard a lot of stories from beyond these waters. It's great working here. Okay. Tell me about the sea. Observing the sea is my job and I love it. While I'm around, you've nothing to fear from the storms or showers. I'll warn everyone ahead of time. Alright, I didn't say so earlier, but I'm a Melusine. According to Monsieur... My French is really bad. Uh... Nouvellettes, we have a deep connection to the ocean. And even amongst us, I'm one of the best at sensing the ocean's movements. That's why I've been assigned to work here. I just need to report on said movements and I don't have to wander out into deep sea, so it's a pretty comfy job. Deep sea? To be honest, I'm not sure if my understanding of the sea's depths is the same as that which human beings sense. All I know is diving is difficult for most human beings. It requires a heavy set of clothing and a lot of training. You know how to dive? It's okay if you don't. I bought these from the sea and I want to share them with you. Ooh, she gave me a shell. Uh, okay. Uh, it does seem like a like, nice gig. Yep, I think so too. Oh, okay, that was the, the goodbye one. Oh. oh, okay. I'm intrigued. It's got like a tail, little wings. Paws. Huh. I like it. I like it. Okay. Now, how do we do things? Okay. Wait. Oh, just sit. Okay. I thought it was going to let me grab a newspaper, <laughs> but I guess not. Ooh! Hello! <laughs> Forget! We got to talk to Forget. Woof woof. Uh, good doggy, good doggy. Woof woof. Hello, Baguette. Uh, okay, I won't disturb you any further. Woof woof. <laughs> Wait, did they... How can it see? <laughs> And I like that they gave it a little, little feet and tail that match. <laughs> okay, uh, good girl, baguette, good girl, phew. Uh, what are you busy with? Oh, sorry, I'm just really tired right now, didn't notice you there. Very few people talk to me at work, in any case, and since cargo inspection doesn't really involve the crew. And as you can see, that's what I'm doing. Though in practice, the one inspecting things is my dog, baguette. I'm just here to take care of her in turn. Uh, mind telling me about your dog? Ah, Baguette is an earnest girl who's dedicated to her work. I'm most fond of her. She's got a truly keen sense of smell and she can sniff out all manner of contraband and prohibited items. A human inspector can beat her in that regard, but Baguette is tireless at work and just as tireless when it comes to tearing the house down. Ah, oh, if only she could be at this at peace at home. My dude, I think you need to work on your uh, dog training skills. <laughs> um, I also love Baguette. Baguette is a good dog. I like Baguette. That's like the second dog. There aren't many dogs you can actually interact with. So that, that's quite nice. Um, and it was a cargo ship. <gasps> Is this a lift that doesn't hate me? Because you have to press it to go. Whoa! And you can't fall off! You know what? Fontaine is my favourite nation now purely because the lift. It works correctly. <laughs> oh dear. Um, oh, hello Rimageki, good to see you, good to see you. We are exploring Fontaine, because there's been a new update. And so far the best thing about this update, well, forget the dog. And also, the fact that this lift is like working correctly. And it's like, I'm, I'm rising to wherever I'm supposed to be going. And the... Uh, yeah, didn't throw me off or anything. Just let me go up here. But I wonder if you're up here, can you? If I went to the bottom now, could I? Can I get in the lift, or would it be gone? <laughs> or could you summon it down? I don't know. Here's another for the lift shaft. Oh yeah, and the shell. Forgot about that. Okay, okay. Well, we've opened this. I really 
should get some of the ones in Sumeru. I don't know why. Oh no, I know why I haven't got because the forest ones start quests. I didn't want to do that. But I should have got some of the desert ones. Okay, it looks like lots of little islands. Like as in like this kind of little islands. As in Oh. Doesn't really want to scroll. Which is fine. Um, but it's kind of reminiscent of like the edges of Liyue, like this section. It's a marsh! Didn't I say marsh? I think I might have said the words marsh earlier. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Exciting times! Okay, okay. Cool. Well, hello, Siora. Who are you? Uh, when I first saw you, I thought that you must be some sort of local adeptus. Sorry about that, really. It's fine. The adepti in the legends you told me about seem really amazing. It is my honour to have been considered one of them. Oh, as well, so long as you don't mind, I'd be real saddened if someone as small and cute as you were to dislike me. Why well, do you look quite small, sure, but I'm at least a few hundred years old. Hmm. Yeah? Well, this must be your first time in Fontaine, right? Do you need me to introduce you to some local habits and customs? Consider it thanks for telling me stories of Liyue. Uh, would you really? Thank you. Another scene? Is that how you pronounce that? Yep, your pronunciation is great. Well then, let's start. Okay, so I'm guessing, you know how Liyue has Adeptus, Adepti? Monstrat just doesn't. <laughs> But um, Inazuma has the yokai. I wonder if Fontaine has the melusine, which I'm definitely saying wrong. Um, I am also going to check if that lift is downstairs now that I've got this teleport waypoint, and therefore I don't need to take the lift. I'm going to find out. Uh, well, will I ever be able to sail to the world's end? No. Well, actually, I don't know. But actually, I don't know. Maybe Tabat does have an end. <laughs> About your next route. My first mate and I haven't really made plans just yet, but I do hope we'll make it a little further. Each time I return to land and look back upon the route that we just took in this manner, I can't help but sigh. Even the longest of sea routes is still all too short when seen from on high. Perhaps one cannot traverse every river and every ocean in a single lifetime. But since I've chosen this path, you never know what you'll encounter unless you try, right? I like the constant adventures. Yes, my friend, precisely. Navigating to the end of the world is my goal, and the process of achieving it is just as important. Though I am not an adventurer, my adventuring experiences are just as thrilling as theirs. I like that. Oh, <laughs> she gave us adventurous experience. A very fitting, very fitting thing. Okay, let me check if the lift is downstairs. Because I've just got to know. <laughs> okay, let me see, let me see. How does the lift work? Because I definitely left it upstairs. Oh no, you have to call the lift. I don't know if this is better or what. This is very realistic, though. <laughs> you just have to, like... You have to call the lift. I like it. I like it. I guess Fontaine is going to be the closest to, like, our technology. But this lift is taking a very long time. I thought they'd just, you know, teleport it down because game. But no. It still has to come all the way down. But that's fine. We're gonna go up there. Ooh, I'm gonna see what else is up here. <laughs> I'd love it if the left door opened and there's just a person inside. I would also, I would also love it. It would be very, very fitting. <laughs> okay, anything else on this side? No, wait, what's over here? Do you have to sail everywhere? Okay. Adventurer self-proclaimed. I'm also just loving the general outfits. Oh, grabbed a book. Hello. These photos are pretty good. I guess I'll ask an editor just to take their pick. Are you a photographer? I'm afraid not. I'm good at photography, yes, but I prefer the title Adventurer. I take my cat. She takes her cat on various adventures and take many photos that tell a story. I mean, who says pictures can't tell stories? Some of these get published in newspapers and some get used as illustrations for books. Each one of my pictures will definitely contain my cat, makes it easy to identify, you know? I like it. I like it. I assume this is the cat in question. And you know what? Fair enough. I would also do that <laughs> if I had a cat to take on adventures with me. Okay, hello. Machines make work easier, but there's something rather boring about them. Want to chat? 
Sure, but where should we start? I'm just thinking that I should meet up with a friend at the Opera House on my off day. We can watch an opera or a trial. Either is fine with me. I've been on duty at the harbour lately, and I've been inspecting machines on the regular day in and day out. Nothing special. Thinking about it in a different way, boring work might be meaningless, but at least it's safe. If I were still dispatched to the Fontaine Research Institute for further studies in mechanical knowledge, I might no longer have legs to touch land, you know? Oh. One of these. Uh, what if I want to take a boat to the Court Fontaine? Ah, you speak of the aquabuses that travel along Fontaine's waterways, eh? This is the starting point of the Clementine Line, which heads from the Maritime Harbour to the Court of Fontaine. If you want to take one of those boats to the court, just take a seat on that long bench and one will arrive shortly. The Millicene Sign Tour Guide on board will introduce you to some assorted trivia, so stay tuned. Okay. There's a boat system. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to wait a second before trying to get the bus, because I want to talk to all these people. And then there's that quest. This Wilson board has been specially set up by the harbour master of Romaritine Harbour to publicise all important matters in and around the harbour. Any questions may also be posted here. Continue reading. Farewell, sparrows chirping under the old moon. Greetings, flowers blooming in a new land. Though I haven't got the foggiest notion what this says, it looks interesting. Can someone explain it to me? How can you not understand something that simple? That she obviously just said her goodbyes to someone named sparrows chirping under the old moon and then unexpectedly met someone named flowers blooming in a new land. Oh, I get it now, but why are their names so weird? from Leah will we'll have strange days like that. If you go out more and see the world, you'll understand. <laughs> uh, thanks to the kindness and efforts of Zadra, I have eliminated all possible dangers on my journey. This trip to the Fontaine Research Institute will certainly be completely without incident or delay. For any reminder, a massive explosion of unknown origin occurred at the Fontaine Research Institute several days ago. The Fontaine Research Institute has ceased operations for all intents and purposes. For safety reasons, unauthorized individuals are barred from entering the former grounds of the Fontaine Research Institute. We apologize for any inconveniences. The words are completely legible, it appears they were written by someone in a fit of extreme emotional agitation. Attention all visitors, any and all duelling within Fontaine requires an application and registration with the appropriate authorities. Private duels without approval are strictly prohibited. Any and all losses and damages resulting from unauthorized private duels will be borne by the participants. Arrests made by the mansion for the end guardianage? Are not considered duels or duelling behaviour. If you wish to uphold your honour, you may apply for a duel during the trial process. Refrain from any last ditch resistance if you wish to avoid meaningless losses. How many are there? The Fontaine Fishing Association is looking for master- <gasps> Fish! <laughs> master line breakers to engage in a great business of line breaking altogether. Please contact us for details. Uh, what in the blaze is line breaking? Why haven't I heard of it? The art of line breaking, as it were, is to put your honour and your life on the line in an epic duel. It requires us to push ourselves to our limits, maximising our potential as we face the ultimate challenge. Only through this art can we acclaim victory over the cavern, the craven weakling cowering within ourselves, as well as the fish beneath the waves, place honour, joy, and the fish themselves into our bag. Isn't that just fishing? Uh, the Mason Guardianage would like to remind you that Romara Time Harbour is near the desert, and large numbers of illegal individuals calling themselves Ermites have been active nearby. Merchants passing through should remain vigilant. If you see something, say something. Contact the Mason Guardianage to deal with any suspicious persons. I want to buy a gift for my girlfriend, she's up for contain, should I get her a clockwork transformer toy or maybe a magical box of tricks? Why not buy something like perfume or watches or anything like that? Those only have a single function, they're so boring, check out this clockwork toy, it can turn into an aqua bus, totally rad. Unless I can turn into a shield to protect you, I recommend you buy some perfume instead. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave it there because I don't know how many of those there are. There's probably a lot. Okay. Let's see, um... Yes, like Venice, but in the air. Oh, Simpson, hello, welcome, welcome. How's it going? It's going good. We made it to Fontaine. Oh, and Angel was here as well. Hello, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, so it took a while there, but uh, we finally got everything loaded. <laughs> and we're in Fontaine. I was trying to do... I should really click that, actually. This. He said, unlock a statue of the seven, and I did that. Oh, wait, does it just mean explore? Was that not a quest? What? What is this? I started this. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. Maybe I've done it wrong. Anyway, um, but yes, so, so we are on Fontaine and now we're running around. So far, we've seen a functioning lift, which was honestly the highlight. And we met Baguette the dog. And this lady goes on adventures with her cat 
and she takes photos and sends them to the newspaper of her cat and I appreciate that <laughs> um but yeah oh yeah I got a shell I also got a shell <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Maison? <laughs> I have forgotten how to French, okay? <laughs> it is like Maison, right? <laughs> As opposed to, did I really say Mason? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, um, hello Zadra. It will take only one hour to walk around this place. The time left can be used to... Are you... Oh, hey there, I'm planning my itinerary. Before I arrived in Montaigne, I did have a plan ready, but I just met with a nice person named Reyes, and it seems that I'll have to make some adjustments. You see, there's an art to even setting up a tour itinerary. It must be fresh and innovative, but it also needs to be rigorously managed, and you need to adapt the situation on the ground. Now I think about it, even filling out a form has gained an element of fun. My dude, filling out paperwork is not... It's not fun. <laughs> Hello! That gentleman from Sumeru seems to be a real careful sort. He'll be fine even if I don't guide him, I reckon. The gentleman from Sumeru? Yes, he seems to work at the academia and decided to travel here during a vacation. I've heard he's very meticulous in research and in life. He found me through several layers of relationships and invited me to be his guide. Which is fine, of course. I've got lots of free time so I can accompany him anywhere. But compared to travelling itself, he seems to enjoy designing itineraries more. He even wanted to carefully calculate the length of aqua bus rides. I can help to speed him up. It's okay, I don't mean to rush him, it is a good thing to think carefully while making plans for the future and then slowly enjoying the rest of it. It's just he seems a bit too preoccupied and forgot to have some of the bread that I brought for him. I can't finish the bread alone, would you like to share it with me? <gasps> garlic bread? There's garlic bread? We are investigating this garlic- There better be a recipe somewhere. Where is it? Where's my garlic bread? I don't know what setting it's under. What does the garlic bread do? Here it is. It's attack food. <laughs> garlic bread! <laughs> okay, let me see. Um... Okay, apparently there's a voice note. Let me... Let me see. Okay, it looks like we have... I listened to the wrong one. <laughs> oh, Maison. <laughs> yeah, I know... Okay. <laughs> Maison. I remember Maison means house. It kind of means they're probably the house guards. <laughs> and I think Child of you suggested it should be Guardianage, which... Boss is here! <laughs> Which would make sense. But still. Anyway, hello! Hello there, dear passenger. Is there anything I can do for you? So. Ooh, you are. I'll introduce myself officially once we're underway, but guess there's no harm doing it now. I'm Eval, and I'm in charge of introducing the Clementine line. Are you curious about us, Melusines, dear passenger? It's a Melusin. Scene song. How does the. I sound in French. I forget. Um, mm -hmm, I get it. They say that there aren't any melasines, melasines, melasans. Charlotte, what do you think? <laughs> Anywhere else into that, after all. Speaking of which, the secret we melasines keep is. is? Well, I don't know either. I've just heard that we're a very young race. We've only been around for something over 400 years. It was. Monsieur. Monsieur. It sounds wrong. <laughs> Monsieur Nevelet. Nuvillette, who brought us from the cavern of Elinas to the court of Fontaine. Fontaine? Fontaine. Fontaine. To live with everyone else. That's why I'm here in the smart uniform giving this explanation. Uh, so. About the ship. This, this is an aquabus, the most advanced transportation device in Fontaine, probably. I've heard that some places are working on a boat that can fly in the sky. That sounds awesome, right? If boats really could do that. Wait, that's bad, that would cause seasick, air sick. Either way, passengers who get sick will be in great danger. Huh. Okay. When does the bus go? Alright, it's time to go already, isn't it? Oh. 
Oh, we're going. We're going. Where are we going? Uh, welcome to the Clementine Line, Aquabus. This tour guide tour will take you to the magnificent court of Fontaine, the most important city in our nation. Can I sit? Oh, I can. Okay, perfect. This is like the real bus. Um, I'm Aval, and I'll be your tour guide for this trip. Even though I'm not as reliable as Alphane from the Navia Line, I'll still do my very best. And if you're dissatisfied with anything, feel free to let me know right away. Oh, wait a sec, it's please contact a staff member with your feedback after reaching the station and we'll address your concerns as soon as possible. Back on topic, the destination of this trip will be the Court of Fontaine. If you'd like to learn more about the latest technological developments in Fontaine, the hottest new trends in the cuisine, or upcoming sensational trials, please subscribe to the Steambird. rock huh okay I have the urge to like jump off but that'd be such a bad idea but it's very strong <laughs> the urge to just jump off this boat but then I'm gonna be not on the boat um the steep bird runs lots of fantastic serialized novels including the thriller great detective herlock who which recently reached its dramatic conclusion Right at the very end, Herlock faces off against the real mastermind revealed to be the assistant, Miss Jacoba, in a duel at the old site of the Chris Aldo. I couldn't, couldn't stop my feelings from shaking. Did you just reveal the spoilers? You don't give spoilers on a bus! Oh, rude. I oh, know that I spoiled it for you. Whoops. Anyway, coming up ahead on your left hand side is Marussia Village, the hometown of all Melusines, myself included. It's deep below the ground just over there. It's okay, I wasn't gonna read it anyway. But still, you gotta be more careful. <laughs> Let me see, what have you guys been saying? Oh wait, no, we will now pass through Poisson Tunnel. Now that I think about it, very few people tend to take this line. Maybe it's because humans don't really like deserts. After all, the most popular route in and out of Fontaine is through the US Chenu Vale. You can go through Chenu, I don't even know where Chenu Vale is, but you can go through Chenu Vale. Or maybe that's a bit of Fontaine that hasn't been unlocked yet. <gasps> Flowers. Uh, I've heard that in places with lots of sand, even clockwork mecca will start to malfunction. I mean, no rational person will try to cross a vast hot and dry desert to get to Fontaine, right? I am not a rational person. <laughs> well, there's a waypoint here. Ah, I'm so sorry I didn't imply that you were irrational. <sighs> I missed it. See, this boat is all good and all, but it doesn't pause. So I'm gonna have to jump off the boat later. <laughs> just to try and get it. Oh dear. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, oh, Lucy mom speaks French. Nice, nice. Uh, you said don't quote me on that one. Fair. Well, I said thinks, so. <laughs> Jump off the boat, listen to your urges. I can't because what if I miss more of her story? I want to hear all the fun facts. Uh, looking ahead on your right, right now you'll see Reniers, where the opera Epicles, Epicles is located. <laughs> Do you see that really tall structure I once called Alphane? What's that big old thing? She said no clue, what's the use of learning the meaning of things? <gasps> Herbs, they're colorful. Uh, but anyway, Elfane is super amazing and super friendly. Melusine, if you have a chance, you should really take the Navia line and listen to her talk. I wonder if I can take those birds and put them in my teapot. Uh, behind me is the destination of our tour, the magnificent court of Fontaine. Please take all your personal belongings with you when you disembark. <laughs> the spoilers for bus. Yes. <gasps> There's so many colourful burbs. Um, <laughs> the spoilers on the bus. <laughs> We love it, we love it. Um, oh, and they're like swans? Why is everything so pretty? Why is everywhere else just like... Where are the colourful birds in Mondstadt? To be fair, the finches are very cute, but still.
still in the Poisson Tunnel. <laughs> yes, a pretty random. I wonder if there are more Poisson Tunnels and how they are distributed. Uh, no, oh no, I almost forgot. Uh, while aboard the Aquabus, please keep your head, hands, and other body parts, as well as your cane, swords, cameras, and other personal items inside the boat at all times. A little late for that. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, the Aquabus operator bears no responsibility whatsoever for any injury or loss incurred as a result of disobeying the rules. Uh, maybe it's a bit late for the disclaimer. Anyway, I'm happy you had an instant free journey today and it was my pleasure to serve as your tour guide for this trip. Thank you. Ooh. Thanks for watching everyone. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see me play live, then check out my Twitch channel. You can find me on Wednesdays and Sundays at 8pm GMT. Thanks again and have a great day!